this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make an XP farm out of not one, not two, but three cave spider spawners. Be warned because this video will give you satisfying feelings that will burst you into VIP shawarma. Yeah, shawarma. So we have three cave spider spawners here and a zombie spawner down below here. So if you want to see the world, then here's the seed and the coordinates yeah so the first step is to clear up space around the spawners so i cleared up a space around the spawner it is a 9 by 9 by 5 space around the spawner and this is how tall the spawner will be from the ground now let's do that to the other spawners and with the power of editing boom see <laughs> and now let's make a room where we can activate all of the spawners and kill our spiders and enchant our items so i'm gonna put my room here because Clearly, it's been provided by Minecraft. I'm now finished making this room here. This should be able to spawn all of the spawners in any spot here. So if your spawners are from, away from each other, and you have specific blocks to stand on, then try to mark it out. Now, I want to kill my spiders in one hit. So I'm gonna drop them here to this area here, and this is where I kill them in one hit. So I'm gonna put chests here, then hoppers at the back of the chest then chains on the side wall in the middle and now i want to make a four block long tunnel so let's go one two three and four then now let's put water here then destroy these blocks then put a cobblestone wall down there then at the back let's make a seven by seven area so let's just dig these blocks here and as you can see the water doesn't um, flow backwards here because we have a hole down here. So let's make a 7x7 seven seven area. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then dig that away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then let's just clear up the space. And now let's put a block here and place disruptors like this. Then destroy this block and put water on the corners. Then destroy this block here then let's put water in the middle here going around us and destroy the temporary blocks and yeah then also destroy this water here then let's get string you get these strings from the cobwebs you cleared out before making an area around the spawner so we have something like this then let's destroy this temporarily and now we're gonna go up by 14 blocks digging a tree by tree hole so let's just dig a tree by tree hole then let's go up by 14 blocks so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 then on the top here let's make a 5 by 5 area by digging these blocks then let's put signs going around the defense gate in the middle here then let's put a block uh, we cannot put a block um let's destroy this temporarily then put a trap door on top of the fence then let's destroy these blocks going down then put the string and let's go back to the spawners so i want to connect up the spawners so this spawner will connect up here and this spawner will connect up here so from this spawner let's make a tunnel going to that spawner let's put water on the corners then fence gates open them up and signs then let's build a trench going to the wall then here let's just extend all the way there so i'm just gonna go to the other spawner first to set up the water vator so this is the middle of this tunnel here so i'm just gonna block this off and make a tunnel going this way a two block long tunnel so that's one two buckle my shoe so here i want to put signs like this then water on the sides then let's dig down to the tunnel then now i'm gonna extend this tunnel so let's actually block this up first so here you need to destroy these blocks to continue the tunnels the tunnel then let's destroy this block here let's put blocks here then let's put chains here let's actually destroy the water first because this is a bit annoying let's put chains here I mean signs then water and a block here and we don't want this because we need a two block gap from the water and the ceiling here so let's just destroy these blocks 
then destroy this block here and open this up see you have a two block gap from the ceiling go up to this water vator then here put water like that let's get a slab and put slabs like so there they destroy the slabs so in theory the spiders from the first spawner will go into this tunnel here and and into the water vator going up like this so from this spawner here i'm gonna make a tunnel going this way so let's put water on the corners then i want my tunnel to go here so let's put fence gates and signs here that is destroy these blocks then let's continue this tunnel by four blocks so one two three four then let's put signs on the second block so one two then let's dig down here and destroy this block here and this block here put water here and here 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 then let's extend this tunnel going that way to the other spawner so this is the other spawner let's just open this up and the tunnel is a bit too short so let's block this up here and destroy this block and the temporary blocks and now let's put chains like this signs open fence gates and signs then let's put water on the side and this should work right yeah this will work so here i want to make a tunnel going this way parallel to the drop chute and make another tunnel going this way and to the water vator and to the drop thingy here so let's put water on the corners then fence gates and signs then a trench going to the wall um, we have a spawner here. I, I actually forget to turn this off. I mean destroy the block. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a floor here. So now let's go and continue this tunnel going that way. So the water ends here. Then let's just dig these blocks. So make a two wide space here. And destroy these blocks here. And these blocks here. So we can now continue the tunnel. Then let's check if we are now parallel. Yeah, we are now parallel to the... Uh, drop shoot thingy and now I want to make a tunnel going that way so let's put signs so let's put signs here then let's dig blocks under here then continue this water system going to the drop shoot so I'm just gonna fix this up and continue the tunnel so I extended this tunnel and if I dig this up here the water will flow down because this is where the cave spiders will drop up so let's avoid that and back off a little so now let's destroy these blocks and put water and the tunnel will extend here um this is a bit short so let's temporarily put blocks here and dig under then destroy these blocks and put chains here signs ah <laughs> Then water and a block here. I mentioned earlier that I don't want this. So let's count one, two, and destroy this block. And temporarily place these blocks. Destroy the blocks under. Then destroy the temporary blocks. So yeah, we have a two block gap from the water and the ceiling. So I actually forgot to mention this that we need... We need to take note of the coordinate, the y coordinate of the of this part here. So this is y18. So we need to go up to y18 plus one. So we need to go to y19. So from here we need to go to y19 and dig our way up. Let's just put water like that and here. Then destroy the blocks going up. So let's just check our coordinates. Let's put a block here. Then let's just dig up. Destroy this block and put water. Put the block here and destroy the water. I mean, the blocks here. So let's just continue this this water. We are at Y16, so we just need to destroy two blocks here. Then put water. So we actually need to go to Y19, so let's just put more water here. And now as you can see, we are now aligned to the drop shoot. So let's just dig our way there. So put a block and go to, to the drop shoot. Then this is one block too high so let's destroy this water stream then let's make a tunnel going that way and now let's put fence gates here and signs then now let's put water here and here then slabs like this then destroy the slabs and put blocks here then now let's put water on the corners um i actually forgot to put this back oh no the strings oh i'm gonna fix that so let's put water on the corners and let's go back down here oh man yeah um i'm just gonna fix this 
up yeah then that's actually done we are now done what the heck now let's go back to this room here and put blocks here then the farm is officially done now i'm gonna destroy all the torches on the spawners so the farm is now up and running and you can see that there are cave spiders that is going to our system here to be delivered and put down here so you actually need to stand here to bait the cave spiders into this part here into this water here so if you just punch one of them then they are just one hit so i'm gonna go and design this place put an enchanting table here bookshelves chest and a portal there so this is what our room looks like and let's get a sword let's turn ourselves into survival mode and paint all of the spiders that we got there so i just stood here and and let's just kill them for the satisfying xp yeah yeah that's that's a lot and if we check here there's no spiders that is stuck here because they are getting pushed by the water then we have this trapdoor set up here to stop the spider from spilling out back to this part here and you can see that there are some spiders that are dying from the fall and that's because they bounce up to the water then fall down to this spot here so i put a trapdoor here to stop that from happening but sometimes they just jump and fall to their deaths so yeah i cannot do something about that but with that with that trapdoor it lessens the amount of deaths so if you enjoyed the video then please press like but if you really love it make sure to subscribe and thank you guys for watching watch these videos here this will teach you how to make a one hit cave spider xp farm without digging too much so yeah subscribe